This isn't what you think it is, and by that I mean it's not a modern human. This is actually the skull of a species called Homo floresiensis, which was initially discovered in Liangbua Cave on the Indonesian island of Flores in 2003. The skull I showed you is dated somewhere between 100,000 and 60,000 years ago, although fossils attributed to Homo floresiensis have been dated to as far back as 700,000 years ago, giving them a relatively long time span that crosses over with Homo sapiens from our origins in Africa roughly 300,000 years ago to the extinction of Homo floresiensis, which probably happened roughly 50,000 years ago. Now I've had the opportunity to study a cast of the skull I showed you, and let me tell you something. Homo floresiensis was small, to the point where I could hold that cast in one hand. They're estimated to have been around 3 feet or 1 meter tall while standing, and that short stature combined with their proportionally very large feet has given Homo floresiensis the nickname of the real-life hobbits. While there are several theories about their origins, the one I'm most familiar with suggests that Homo floresiensis descended from a population of Homo erectus that, after moving to the island of Flores, became affected by something called island or insular dwarfism. Insular dwarfism is just a natural phenomenon where larger species evolved to have smaller body sizes after moving to islands or similarly isolated environments. If you want to learn more about Homo floresiensis or just see more photos, I highly recommend checking out the Smithsonian's page on them, since most scientific articles about the species are unfortunately not open access. And as always, if you learned something new today, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, because those are the things that help the algorithm get me out there. And if you want to see more videos about the echoes of humanity's past, be sure to check out my page.